Dobek here. If you're wanting to do some fishing this Labor Day weekend, it's definitely going to be a little bit more of an unsettled pattern on the lake. So let's talk about it. Heading into your Saturday, there is a risk of a couple of storms, especially late day, and we're going to have more of a north northwest wind, which means it's definitely going to be choppy waves around one to three feet. If you're more an experienced boater, especially if you go out early, it might not be too bad, but overall, uh, not the best conditions, but not the worst of the weekend. High temperatures will be just shy of 80. It'll still be very sticky and very humid out there too. Heading into your Sunday that day right now I put the redfish up there because it looks to be the worst in terms of winds. We're staying dry but uh, we're going to be getting uh, waves around 2 to 4 feet with those west winds west northwest around 15 to 20. We could even see a few areas higher waves than that. I wouldn't be surprised if we do see uh, some sort of small craft advisory potentially issued uh, for your Sunday as well. So unfortunately with the winds being a little bit on the stronger side having that more westerly northwesterly component uh, that can make things pretty choppy make for some some uh, big waves out there on Lake Erie, so not going to be the best day on Sunday. Temperature wise, we're cooling off Monday, but we'll still have a little bit of that north wind going, which means it's still going to be a fairly choppy out there, especially uh, through the first part of the day. But as winds start to calm down, things will start to improve and waves will start to subside a little bit. So we're thinking like one to two, maybe three footers first part of the day and then kind of dying down the second half of the day. So again, more experienced boaters might be better for you. If you late to the second half of the day, you might have better luck out there on Lake Erie. Regardless, though, we're getting into a drier uh, pattern heading into next week, so if you're not ready to put the boat away yet, I think you'll still have some good fishing weather looking ahead into the first week of September.